Hey, how you doing today? It's me, Chris. I'm back. All right, it's uh, Friday. Woohoo! Everybody, it's Friday. Here comes the weekend. All right, we're here to do a little bit more Bible study, and we're going to start today on Psalm 111. So go ahead and grab yourself your Bible and get yourself something to drink, and uh, let's get uh, let's get to studying here. So how are y'all doing today? I'm doing okay. Got my Cobbit Dwarf. It's got BCA loaded up in it. I like BCA. Good stuff. So how's everybody today? Hope everybody's having a really good Friday. A couple of things to keep a lookout for today, guys. If you see this video and it's before the time the banks close, you might want to go and grab some cash out of the bank. Um, the stock market, according to all the indicators that I've been watching today, it's getting ready to fall to pieces. You know, they like doing things on Fridays. So we'll see what happens. If the stock market falls apart, it sets it up for a bank holiday come Monday. You ain't going to be able to get anything out of the bank if you want it. So if you need groceries or you need to get stuff, or have a little cash on hand, what have you, you might want to think about it before the banks close today because they might not be reopening on Monday. This is looking pretty bad. The, the market's horrible. Commodities are crashing. The dollar's crashing. Oil is even crashing. Everything is going down the toilet. And the Dow Jones is being held up artificially. I don't know how they can hold it up much longer. Everything else is crashing. So it might be a good idea to get yourself set up for the weekend at least. All right. Um, another thing, um, this weekend, according to the last report that I saw, there's about 2,000 people that are headed for Pahrump, Nevada. That's where the jail's at, the South Nevada Detention Center. I think that's what it's called. Nevada South Detention Center. That's where our patriots are being held illegally. There's about 2,000 people converging on that area to protest the abuse that's going on there. Anybody that wants to be involved in that, just head down there. That entire area around there is open land, and anybody can camp there that they want. If you want to camp there, you can camp there. Nobody can say a word to you about it. Uh, the cops can do everything in their power to try to prevent people from camp camping there, but there's no law that says you can't camp there. And that's what everybody's doing. They're all setting up camps all the way around that prison. Pretty much a siege. I like the idea. That's good. Needs to let those uh, that warden know that people are watching and we're taking names and we're not going to put up with this anymore. We're done. These men are not criminals. You know, when you think about it, it's not even just the patriots that are being abused this way. Every, all, the, all the prisoners are abused the same way. They're just focusing on the Bundys because they're trying to make a point to the other inmates there. Like the first thing they did when everybody started calling and complaining is they canceled all visitation for the weekend because they're scared of the Patriots. All it is is just a way to make all the other inmates mad at the Bundys because they're not going to get any visitation from their families this weekend. It's a... It's, it's a bunch of Bravo Sierra. So that's what's going on, and they're going to be protesting down there until they get some changes made. Heck, I'd like to see them just bust them out. Let them know that the Patriots are really serious about it. What's the government going to do, kill everybody? Ooh, it might happen. You never know. They murdered Lavoy. We're all targets. We're all unindicted co-conspirators, according to Judge Navarro. You know what, Judge? You're a traitor. Harry Reid, you're a traitor. Obama, you should be hung. You're a traitor. Those men that are being held are not. They're patriots. They're standing for the Constitution. They're standing for their God-given rights. It's all coming to a head, gang. So if anybody wants to be involved, Pahrump Pahrump. Nevada is the place to be. Okay? All right. So, everybody getting your Bibles and everything together? 
I got mine right here. Take my glasses. There it is. KJV. Move all my stuff out of the way here. And take another puff off of my pipe before we get started. We got a drawing coming up on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 100 sub giveaway drawing. Got about half a dozen people that are in the drawing right now. Anybody else who wants to get in on it, let's see your videos. I've been enjoying the videos. They're great. Everybody's got their projects going on, building gardens, um, working on bikes. Um, Hoosier Piper, he's got his hands full. He's got all kinds of things going on. So, yeah, this has been pretty cool. Everybody's getting their video videos in, and we're going to do the drawing on uh, Sunday. All right? Just so everybody knows, deadline's coming up. The way the drawing is going to be done, I'm going to take the names, I'm going to put them in my brim, and I'm going to allow my youngest daughter to do the drawing. She's going to be right here with me on YouTube. So she's impartial. She'll do the drawing. That way it'll be fair. Nobody can say, oh, it was rigged. Nah, it's not going to be rigged. I don't have any favors. I just want to see somebody enjoy the giveaway. That's all. And I hope that whoever does, they get the tobacco that they want. Hey, three tins, your choice up to 10 bucks. Not a bad deal. Get three free tins of your favorite tobacco. Or if you want to try something new, hey, here's your chance. It's pretty cool. I would love to get in on a giveaway like that because there's a lot of things I'd like to try that I just can't afford. <laughs> so, BCA I can afford. It's good stuff. All right, gang. Enough of all that. I'm going to take a little sip off my coffee here. Mm. It's a beautiful day here in western Colorado. See on the map? Right there. That's where I'm at. Beautiful day out here. It's uh, over 80 degrees. Animals are all happy. The peeps are peeping. The goats are buying. The sheep's buying. And the pigs are oinking around. You got to see them little pigs. They're starting to get out of the areas that I had them confined into. Yeah, keep them confined. It ain't going to happen. They run around all over the place out there. And this morning I was giving those little piglets some probiotic. You know, it just kind of helps them along a little bit, puts a little extra fat on them. I was giving them shots of uh, squirts in the mouth of uh, probiotic. And one of them little pigs started squealing, and that mama pig made a beeline right for me. I thought she was going to bite my arm off. She was all mad at me. I had to push her out of the way. Yeah, that's intimidating. Have a 300-plus pig come after you. Interesting days. Never boring around here. Got little baby lamb out there. She's all cute. She's decided that whenever she gets done, I, I'm bottle feeding her because she's a bottle baby. She's called a bum lamb. She's a bottle baby. So I bottle feed her. And I was uh, bottle feeding her. And now she's decided that when she's done with her bottle, that she kicks me in the shin with her hoof. That's how I know she's done with her bottle now. Hmm. That's interesting. Not only that, but she likes to imitate you. If you stomp your feet, she'll stomp her feet back and forth. She's cute. It's all fuzzy all over. Cute little lamb. like to get another uh, ram. That way she's got a little buddy. Anyway, enough farm talk. Let's get into the good book. All right. Psalm 111. I hope everybody's doing good today. It's a really nice day in a good mood, everything's good. No matter what the world is doing, my little part of the world is a happy place today. I'm gonna get my kid out there this afternoon and start digging up the area where we're gonna plant the garden. That'll be interesting. I have her out there with a big old pickaxe. We'll get the pumpkins planted today and see if we can get some peppers planted, my jalapenos and my habaneros and my big old gems. And get the pumpkins and maybe some watermelons and set the irrigation up and all that fun stuff. 
Then I got to put a little chicken wire around it because we got rabbits all over the place out here. As a matter of fact, uh, the rabbits just had litters. And so there's baby bunnies all over the place. Got to watch my pit bulls. They like to try to chase them. Always interesting. Never dull. All right, everybody ready? Excellent. Excellent. Steal another swig off the coffee. My youngest daughter was nice enough to grab me a cup before I got everything all set up and ready to go for this video. So that was real nice of her. I thanked her. She was practicing her Spanish on me. Got to learn Spanish. Got to deal with people, especially here in Colorado, being a sanctuary state. There's a lot of uh, Mexicans here. So we got to be able to communicate with them since they don't learn English. So I'm making my daughter learn Spanish. That way we can communicate with people. I know bar Spanish. All the years that I worked in the bars and stuff like that, I learned a lot of Spanish. But uh, I want her to be fluent. All I know is, can I have another beer or get out? <laughs> All right. Psalm 111. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has shewed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are ver virility and judgment, and his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name, revered. Yeah, reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As long as we're righteous people, he'll keep to his promises, hold our covenants together. But the problem is, is that people aren't real righteous nation of sinners we're all sinners but whether or not you've repented is uh, a choice Psalm 112 praise ye the Lord blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments his seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. A good man sheweth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid, until he sees his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever, his horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it, and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth, and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Yep, shall be judged. We'll all be judged, but I'd hate to be wicked and be judged. That's not going to go good. It's going to be pretty bad. But it'll be a righteous judgment, guaranteed. All right, Psalm 113. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord for this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. 
From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Hallelujah. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high? Who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in earth? He raised up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house, and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord all every day. The Lord does all kinds of great things for us. He does everything for us. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Jesus died for our sins in order for us to have the opportunity to have everlasting life, have our sins forgiven. Praise God. That's awesome. Great prayer. Love that one. 113. Psalm 113. That's fantastic. All right. Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest, thou Jordan, that thou wast driven back? Ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble, thou earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Wow, that was pretty wild. That was pretty short. It says a lot, though. God can move mountains. No doubt about it. Make them skip like rams and the hills like lambs. I know what lambs skip like. They're all over the place. They're funny. Psalm 115. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are silver and gold, the works of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is every one that trusteth in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us, he will bless us, he will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence, but we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That was awesome. You know, the promise of God is an awesome thing. It's an everlasting thing. And all you got to do is your part. All you got to do is repent with your mouth and with your heart. You got to mean it because if you don't mean it, it says you'll be cursed. But once you repent and you accept Jesus as your Savior, you can see the promises of God are incredible. All you got to do is have faith. Have faith and let it over to God. Let God handle it. You got anxiety? Give it over to God. You don't need no pills. That's alchemy. 
alchemy goes against God. All these pills that they're always trying to shove down people's throats, yeah, all the side effects, they're wonderful. How many of you take pills and get anal leakage? Wow. If I saw that on a, a pill bottle, that that was a side effect, there ain't no way I would take that. There ain't no way I would take any of these pills. My back hurts 24-7. It hurts all the time. And they're always trying to get me to take pills, and I refuse to. I won't take no pills. I'd rather just handle the pain. I sleep a few hours. I have to get up and walk around because I get spasms in my legs so bad. Whatever. I ain't taking their pills, and you shouldn't either. Don't allow them to taint your body with their pills. It's alchemy. Look for natural remedies. It says in Genesis that the Lord gave us dominion over all the animals, all the plants, and the herbs of the earth. It says it in Genesis. So, don't let anybody tell you that we cannot utilize what God has given us. You just can't practice alchemy where you take those herbs because it says in Genesis 6 that on the earth at that time there were giants. And when you delve into that further, the sons of men taught the daughters of men how to mix herbs and make alchemy, which is black magic. That's what the fallen angels taught people. There again, tainting God's gifts. But in their pure form, they're meant for us. They're for us. So don't be afraid to use them. Look back in time. Look back to what the pioneers 150 years ago did for ailments. Utilize those things. But for anxiety and depression and all these other little ailments that are mental ailments, give them over to God. Ask God for help. Ask God to relieve that from you. If you have headaches, ask God to relieve those from you. That'll do it. He'll take care of it for you. If you have an addiction that you need to get rid of, give it over to God. God will help you. You don't need all those pills. All they want to do is rape the insurance companies and get everybody on some kind of a pharmaceutical so the pharmaceutical companies can make buku bucks. The doctors make kickbacks from the pharmaceutical companies for prescribing that junk to you. And everybody is in the money except for you. And you're paying out the wazoo for all that stuff. And your insurance company is too. There's a lot of different ways of doing things, everybody. A lot of better ways of doing things. Remember, Man is sinful. Man is evil. Trust in the Lord. Pray to Jesus. Trust in the Lord. The only way to God is through Jesus. So, all right, that's all for our Bible study today. We'll start on um, 116 will be our next entry. Write that down. All right. Yeah, we got that written down. Um, head out to Pahrump. Show some support to our, to our patriots. They need your support. And if you're standing out there waving a flag, they'll see you from their rooms, their cells, unless if they're in a three-by-three three cell. Oh, by the way, look at, the, uh, at my likes. The videos that are in my likes on my channel will tell you precisely what's going on with our patriots and with the protests and what you can do to help. Okay? All right. Well, that's all I got for today. Y'all have a great weekend. Be mindful of the Lord. Keep your mind on Jesus. That's the only way to live your life because that way you have continuous guidance in your life. Remember those rubber things that everybody used to wear on their wrists that said, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, that's kind of like having a string around your finger. I don't think anybody really needs those. You just have to have it up here. You've got to be mindful. All right? All right. You guys have a great weekend. God bless. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you on Sunday when we do our drawing. Okay? Bye.